Hi guys and welcome back to another Let's Build episode. So last time we were building up the dwarven town of Dornborim, and this episode we're going to be building the keep. Now if you're new to the channel at all, we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you're new to the series, I'll leave a link in the card above as well as in the description for you guys to catch up. Anyway, let's get into building. So of course, when you think about dwarven keeps and dwarven holds, you always think about the underground part of it. But what I want to do with this one is actually make it look like a keep on the outside. So similar to those kind of like features wherever you see those big dwarven statues. I didn't want to actually do a statue, but I did want to make kind of more of this kind of like castle feel. And from doing a couple of bits of dwarven before, I kind of have a good feel for, for the kind of style I wanted to go for, which is using lots of the different stones that we've now got in Minecraft, such as stone slabs and polished andesite, using that to actually build up these two main towers, one kind of really uh, chunkier one and then a slimmer one but using this kind of like same style and really adding a lot of uh, different features to it to make it kind of pop, make it stand out and make it look dwarven. So moving on to the Great Hall, uh, one of the things I wanted to do with this is actually build it on an even because I don't often build on an even, it's a little bit of a challenge and it also comes up with a couple of things that you kind of think of how to build. One of the things I found though later on is that lighting is a little bit more difficult to place because um, well, you can't do it from the exact centre of your vaulted ceilings but um, yeah you can kind of like figure out different ways of doing it and that of course gives it a different aesthetic so yeah having quite a big hall I wanted the middle part of it to be a lot taller than two side pieces the reason being two side bits are actually going to have a kind of like floor above it a kind of walkway that looks over the great hall and that's where we're going to have most of the rooms so it's kind of fitting a function. At the end of the hall, what we're going to have is the throne room. So I decided to make this circular. The main reason being that we can actually build a really cool looking domed roof. Uh, so I wanted it to feel really kind of big, really kind of open, uh, but also have quite a lot of style. And of course with Minecraft, because we've got blocks, everything looks blocky if you do it usually on a square. So actually using and making this kind of circular uh, style uh, kind of brings a lot of character to it. To it. So I've actually got uh, the outer circle. And then we've got the pillars on the sides there, and we've got a walkway that actually joins up to the same walkway around the main hall uh, going from there with lots of different like arches and things like that. And then just coming up onto the ceiling, just building up the dome. So I actually used Plots, uh, which is an online tool which will build you circles in Minecraft. It also builds you like, spheres and things like that. It was perfect for this use. Uh, of course, what it does is it gives you it in blocks, so you don't get all your slabs and stairs and things like that, so you can just see me coming in now and adding in all of those, which um, I just did by eye to kind of give it more character and make it look really good, but without plots, I wouldn't have been able to do this. So then also I wanted to build an inner dome, so a little bit different, um, but we've got the outer dome, we've got an inner dome, so this inner dome is off those pillars, so adding to the difficulty of what the dwarves can do, we've actually got that kind of opened up uh, from that side. Then just coming on to the floor, making a really detailed, colourful floor. I was thinking again with the kind of like stonework that they've got. So imagine like a really elaborate floor made out of lots of different types of stones from uh, all over the kingdoms. You know, they could have uh, brought this in from everywhere. And then just having it quite a few lights come down to light up this room and uh, yeah, make it a lot brighter. So I was playing around with a couple of designs and actually find it quite difficult building this on an even again. So coming out into the kind of like side room now, uh, I wanted to build kind of like a feast hall. So something where the Lord, the Dwarf Lord would come uh, with his, I don't know if there's Dwarf Knights or not, but you know, his warriors, uh, the kind of nobles that uh, also Lord, like live in Dornbarim. Uh, and they can actually come and sit in here. So I wanted to go with another different type of floor. Uh, this time using uh, sandstone and some of the clay blocks that we've got to add in a little bit of a different color. So to try and make it feel a bit fancier again. And it could be that, I don't know, if there was ever some sort of uh, dwarven dances or anything like that that go on, they could then clear out this room if they're not using the main hall for it. So we've got a nice big table here, built around these columns. Uh, lots of uh, ale, I found lots of good player heads for that as well. Then just coming on to the outside, uh, so there was another kind of part of uh, me building into the mountain. I saw this really nice area where there can actually be another entrance. So another entrance to the dwarven town of Dornbarim. And um, similar to kind of like, you know, Moria, where you can go through on one side and you come out on another. I kind of wanted something similar. Um, with this, it's not too far from the other side, but I wanted to, again, build a small kind of couple towers. And uh, then what I'm putting on the details there is just where we actually have that kind of feast hall. So it all kind of joins up. And then just having a nice big bridge joining onto uh, the kind of tower that we've got on the side there. So I quite like that, that you can actually go through 
the mountain, so it's almost like a mountain pass going through it. So here is the final kind of finished up build of the Dornbury Keep. So we've got that nice big tower there, and then we've got the next other towers next to it. And as we just go through here, we go into that great hall, which is all nicely lit now. I think it looks really, really cool. It's going to be interesting to see how I flesh out the interior as well, and I'll do another tour video as I always do with these. Then as we come into the throne room, we've got that gigantic throne uh, that's going to sit on there, and of course the nice domed styles that are all around it. And I'm really happy, especially with this throne room. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you have, comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, guys, I'll see you on the next one.